Okay, hello, it's Nancy today. We're out identifying mushrooms. Now, there's another one over here. I see from where I'm standing beside this, remember, the turkey tail? Okay, there's another one. Oh look, there's one right here. Now these are very small. Let's see my finger against it. So we will pick one off. Now it has a stem. And it has gills. Those are called gills. And it has... What color is that? Orange? An orange cap. And it was growing out of a piece of maple. Okay, so shall we look that up? It's probably not as interesting to look it up in the book as it is to just be told what it is, don't you think? Okay, let's see what we can find here now. So, I don't think that's a bracket fungus. I think the brackets are all those that we looked at before that kind of on top of each other. Layers. Okay, sponge mushrooms. Oh, that's very big. That's very big. Oh, gill fungi. That's what we need. Got gills. Okay. okay, so we've got here. Let's see, gill attachment, cap shapes. Okay, so the cap, the shape of the cap is umbilicate. Is that what that word is? Umbilicate. Okay, and the gill attachment, it's way down inside. Convex. Okay, convex, umbilicate, and what is this showing? Free, attached, decurrent, and notched. It's not notched, it's not decurrent, it's free. Isn't that? So it's free, it's convex, and it's umbilicate. Well, those are gills. Those things are neat. Okay, so let's see what we can find here. I'm gonna put you up here, baby. Hope you don't. Oh, that's it. That's all the gilled ones we have. Salmon-colored Norea caps are two to four centimeters across. Well, no. Conical the bell shapes with a narrow peak knob. Salmon to orange to see ours was gills are attached. Well, space and salmon to salmon pink. No, that's not it. Mushrooms with pinkish spore prints. It's supposed to all be in gill fungi. Conical at first, becoming flat, knobbed, yellow, brown, and velvety. Gills are free and white, becoming pinkish. Stalks are up to seven centimeters tall, slender, smooth. Slender, white, smooth, and appearing twisted. Oh, where did, where did it go? Here it is. No, it's not white, is it? It's kind of orange as well. Um, widespread but not common. Fruits on well-rotted wood and is recognized amongst Pluteus by its color and velvety texture. No? Yeah, it does have a velvety texture. It's not quite as 
Oh, it's conical at first. Well, now, are those conical? Let's see, where did they go? Where are they? Find the stick sticking up. Okay, I've got to get far enough away we can see it. Stick sticking up, it's this one lying down, right? Not it? No. Isn't it? There. Conical at first. Well, I don't know. This does not have a white. This is an orange thing. Oh, the red squirrel has heard me. He knows I'm here now. He will do all he can to get rid of me. So, of all the guild ones, I think Pluteus Flavo Fulingius. Pluteus. Now wait a minute, this one has a, a stalk that's the same color. Caps are two to four centimeters across. This is one and a half centimeters. Conical to bell shaped. Cone to bell. This is almost bell, right? With a narrow peak knob. Salmon to orange salmon. Dry, smooth, and faintly striate. What does striate mean? Gills are attached, well spaced, and salmon to salmon pink. Stalks, are, this is free. The gills are not attached to it. Spore print is pink, white spare and commas. Salmon colored. Oh, it fruits on the ground in the woods. Okay, that didn't. This one fruited on the, on the log. Well, guys, what do you think? Pluteus flavolinus. Now, are there other ones that are not in the, let's see, dark spored. This is... Don't all mushrooms have gills? Oh, he's coming closer. He wants me to go away. Wherever he is, he knows I'm here. Okay. Deadly court. Well, this is darker at the edge. That's lighter at the edge. How about that? Okay, I guess it would be best for you if I figure it out and then talk to you later. Bye!